All right, so we will can go for the Munich Conference or go for Czechoslovakia must be defended. Which would mean they join us and we got into a war. The Czechs are on their own. Sorry, the Munich dictate. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Oh, it's not done yet, that building. I think we need more military factories, honestly. It's across the country, just to build it all up. It's mostly because we need to produce soon. We will replace the infantry equipment with infantry equipment too. And it's considering we spend so much time now on making the standard infantry equipment. That's going to hurt us later on. We need to build artillery. We need to get our carrier fighters up. Which is not too big of an issue. And now Germany is declaring war on Czechoslovakia. So that's pretty good as well. They have to waste men and effort on doing that. Uh, extra research slot. There we go. That was. Speaking of research, some was done now. Perhaps we should also continue on with this whole thing of uh, going with the doctrines. Let's see, is France is still not in a faction. I wonder though if they will go for it. Currently they are in nuclear effort, so they have gotten to the research slot. And they're going for nuclear instead of jet, so they can get to another research slot. That seems reasonable. So I don't think they are anywhere close to being able to form the little entente. But that is simply a guess. And I think maybe this one will switch out to infantry. Maybe all of these should be infantry, except for the tank. It will be transferred over to something else later on, but the rest should probably just be infantry. And marines, of course. Marines will be useful. Perhaps the marines should be moved over here somewhere help out with the inevitable defense of Malta. Or perhaps Cyprus. Okay, let's send the Marines to Cyprus. That seems reasonable. They're now in Gwynedd. Is it Car Cardiff? Where's Gwynedd? Is it somewhere here? Or is Gwynedd a region? I can never remember. Uh, one, one of the two. One of the two. And here we have another cavalry. One of the last remaining ones. And that, compared to everything else, should actually remain that. Let me guess that the Golden Square still hasn't gotten more than 20% support. It's so strange that it's static. So static. I wonder if... will we get that even if... Like, will that be a requirement even if we become fascists? But I guess, plus then we can just influence the Golden Square to be a bit more popular and then go that. Who knows? Maybe that will be the, the case. We actually produce one carrier a year, which is not too big, but it will allow us to have at least two free carriers by the time that the war starts. The free carriers should be sufficient, I think. That plus the rest of the fleet should be sufficient in order to, to challenge. To challenge them. We have some submarines as well. Does everyone have a, f a fleet commander? No, this one does not. All right, let's sort by skill. Andrew Cunningham. Let's take uh, John Toby here, while the home fleet is already has a leader. Did this one have a leader as well? Only... Right, this is the big one I wanted. This one needs a, a leader. Andrew Cunningham will be the leader of the Mediterranean fleet. Well, it's a shame, but expected to happen. At this point I think this should just be combined into one big fleet, the China fleet under Bruce Fraser. Maybe we should send some more fleets over there, but that can happen afterwards. It's not something that needs to happen just at this moment. It can be rectified later on. Let's add that one over here, just trying to balance this out. Never too easy. How is the fascism going? It's pretty slow. Hopefully we'll be fascist by, before the war starts. That could be useful. Alright. Royal Ordnance Factories. That adds a lot of military factories. Go for that. And uh, the Semitic Radar is done. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. 
This means that probably, yes, this is going to be fast now. Concentrate industry. And uh, let's go for maybe some naval stuff. This would be good. Battlefield concentration. Was that fleet in being? Do we have, yeah, fleet in being. Which is not the most optimal, probably, for the carrier focus, but we will, we will suffice. No worries about that. Humber force. I like that Humber has its own little force, or Hull has its own force. That's interesting. This is so 60 days away. Fascism is still increasing, but lowered, lowered effect now. So we will get one of the events that give a massive boost to the fascists, so they can take power within our lifetime. German Reich has not gotten everything handed to them, because, uh, well, I think the Czechoslovakia has more balls currently than, than they ever had before. So they stood up to the Germans, unfortunately it didn't really help, so it seems that in real life they probably made uh, the, best, the best move they could. Which I can emphasize with. Saving a lot of uh, Czech lives. French, France bans communism. I wonder how many died in this conflict anyway. I mean, these are now fully German because they weren't part of any. Like, they're not occupied territories, they are fully German territories. Which is both threatening or scary and. Uh, well, basically a shame. Uh, let's go for radar. Now we can upgrade the radar. So when we have the opportunity, let's upgrade the radar in the southern England to help out. Well, I wonder, it, will France stand on Poland's side? Because we won't. So we're basically handing Germany the victory at this point. I, I, I can see United Kingdom's conundrum during this time. We are not, we're far from ready for, for a war. We are still fairly disarmed. We don't have the biggest military power in the world. We do have a very nice fleet. We do have a nice fleet. We have do, do have a nice air force. But our army is not ready for conflict. And our units are not ready for conflict at all. Not at all. Uh, considering how, what, you know, the war will be like at the moment. Perhaps focusing on something like air superiority be pretty good. Amphibious, in submarines, screen attack, screen defense. Let's go for screens. Oh, some more towed to artillery. At least now five is produced every day, but we need 720. And that's only with one... That's only with one artillery being added to this whole thing. But the, the organization is extremely high. It's just that uh, the attack is... Uh, it's not what it could have been. It's not what it can be. Not what it will be. Eventually. We only have limited conscription. But it's, it's a bit worrying that with limited conscription, we only have so little manpower to use. Only 1.8% of eligible core. Oh yeah, we still have the war to end all wars. When, when did, where did that end? Was it somewhere around here? Oh yeah, here it was. Oh, so it's our shame. It's our it's our mistake then, or my mistake to not go for that path. I think we'll survive anyway. Uh, do some encrypt decryption so we can learn more about the Germans and the French and all the other people when they do stuff. Anticipate this by adding a bit more. Maybe produce some more light tanks. And beyond that, carry your fighters and. Uh, Soviet artillery. Wait, how many freaking uh, factories did we get there? It seems like a ton. Oh, production cost lowered for infantry equipment. That's pretty good. Oh, now we got the French of communism. Excellent, so soon fascism will take over. Soon it will take over. 47%. That is extremely close. Extremely close. But I don't think we will go for any sort of, you know, we won't uh, go for a civil war because that will set us back too, too long. It will be too big of a setback. I have played a civil war with the United States once. 
and uh, rebuilding after that. I mean, surely possible. There's no big deal. Like, you, you can rebuild afterwards. But it just takes uh, quite a bit of time. And uh, with the United Kingdom, we kind of need to be on point. We can divide a nation and lose a ton of ships, airplanes, men and equipment just to uh, fight a point of civil war where we will end up at the end, no matter who wins, weaker than we started. So we we'll wait for the popular referendum so that the British fascists are fascists the British fascists are stronger than the Conservative Party. Advanced machine tools. Okay. We almost have too many and low manpower. Okay. Here we go. Civil war for fascism. The most united people first. Here's what would spark the civil war. This is what we will choose though, because we don't want a civil war. Civil war will set us back too far. It's not worth it at the moment. Don't worry, the fascists will take over. It's just a matter of time at this point. It's just a matter of time. Uh, let's see here. This one is being done. Could maybe start on, on convoy sailing as well. Just so we get our doctrines up. Up and ready. That would help with Germany. I have played some Germany at least in the co-op one, so I'm somewhat familiar with what Germany's weaknesses will be. What it will mostly be when it comes to the fleet and the air force. And if we have strong enough air force at the time of well, it's happening, then uh, we will be able to dominate them. We currently have 1,329 uh, 1, units of fighters ready. And we have currently deployed 922 fighters. So we have a lot of fighters ready to be deployed when we need them to be. Both uh, hurricanes and gladiators, some, some of them are outdated, some are not. So I think uh, we'll put... Wait. Uh, let's put these and deploy them here so they are ready. Wait. I didn't want all, all to be there. Remove the air wing. Yeah. What the hell? I, didn't, I only wanted... Uh, okay, let's take 200 of them. There we go. Must have made a mistake. So, British Union fascists, are you ready now? Well, soon. Very soon. Very, very soon. And then we can invade everywhere. Everywhere. And soon we will have infantry equipment. Oh, we can. Oh, we could have already gone for it. Oh, stupid. I am an idiot, unfortunately. That's just what happens. Well, issue gas masks. Why? I don't know, but let's issue them anyway, so we are prepared for when it happens, when we need them. But yeah, I should have gone for infantry equipment too immediately. Shouldn't have waited this long. Or missed that I could do it. Unfortunately, battlefield concentration is the next one available, and that's 16 days. I mean, that's 16 days also, that we could have saved on the research, 16 days of production that could have replaced the... Uh, well, replaced the infantry equipment across all our infantry units. So that is a setback. That is a setback. Well, they're very close. Oswald mostly are very, is very close to grabbing power. It's a bit silly though that he needs... Uh, that he needs full popularity for it. And I can invite Poland to our faction. Well, I could do that. I wonder what they will say when I become fascist though. So I will wait until I'm fascist before I invite them to anything. Hungary is now part of the Axis. So that's disappointing. There we go. Now I can do weapons too. No, you won't be part of my faction. Not until I become fascist. So hold, hold on to your hats. Soon it will happen. Also mostly. Soon. In just a couple of days. Just a couple of days. Let's see. Now he has officially taken power. Has to join faction non-aggression pact from Poland. We can agree to a non-aggression pact. Definitely. I'm not heartless, Poland. I just have other priorities beside you. You're not the only country in the world. United Kingdom comes first. I'm sorry, Poland. 
And the United Kingdom wants to be fascist, as stated here by Oswald Mosley, that he has uh, the popular support now. So he's waiting for the referenda to happen. It will be a referendum on whether the fascists will take power or not. And uh, they, will, they will win that referendum, so then we can move on with our plans. So if we pick it, it's just waiting for... There, there we go, demand referendum. Well, uh, let's see here. If the people want it, we'll hold the referendum. And suddenly we became the British Empire, and we have brought lightning to Great Britain, and now we have Oswald Mosley leading our country. Exciting stuff, exciting things are going on. They still want to be part of our faction though, our fascist faction. But first of all, the first thing that will happen will be to boost po uh, party popularity over here. And uh, then the Golden Square will become more powerful than ever before. There we go. And now we should see it being a possibility. Yes, it is. See, this is so sneaky. This is wonderful. This is beautiful stuff. So now we can cancel the support over here. And uh, the Golden Square suddenly has, uh, you know, a bit more popularity than previously had. And now we can invade it. What a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing to see. Yeah, that will... That would be wonderful. Holy shit. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we became fascist and now we're the British Empire. So I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed seeing what the British Empire will be up to next. Until next time though, folks, have a good one and I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.